In today's video we turned our regular go-kart to a fully drifting miniature version of our 600cc motorbike swap van Kevin. So we had this go-kart for about 2 weeks already and since I bought it I already knew what I want to do with it. Turn it into a mini car. Couldn't be anything else than Kevin, our van that we finished building last year. I talked about it with some friends and one of them, Philip, invited us to his place for a weekend. So without thinking much, we packed ourselves a go-kart, some tools and some other essentials and we took two hours drive to Philip's place. Okay, made it. Ale to jest czysto. Teraz dwa, dwa dni było sprzedane, bo goście przyjadą, nie? Bo goście przyjadą. Tak. All this space for a little go kart. Now it's Sunday evening and we're staying until tomorrow. The one mission that we have is to turn our drift go kart into little Kevin. Philip and the boys have a lot of knowledge and a lot of tools and a lot of stupid ideas to make this all happen. And uh, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> no, that way. Philip is a very talented guy. He can imagine stuff in his head and then reproduce it in real life easily. He also has all the machines and tools in the world and he's big Milwaukee fan, like big big. Okay, so quickly, uh, roughly the plan for the go-kart is, firstly we remove all the plastics and everything around the go-kart that won't be necessary. Then from those aluminum pipes that Philip bought, from these aluminum pipes, we're gonna try to figure out the frame around the go-kart. Into which frame we're gonna make some shapes from ABS and then paint it red, install the front headlights, do the Bosozoku exhaust and just turn this go-kart into a miniature version of Kevin. The boys started to plan the whole construction and I decided to refresh the wheels and make them more like the ones in Kevin. So uh, we have taped the wheels around and what we're gonna do is paint them uh, red and then we're gonna polish the lips so it's gonna be just like in Kevin. Okay, it's been two hours. two hours and the boys made a rough shape of how the body is gonna go. This is more or less the size of the body. So here we're gonna have the front. The go-kart has only 7 horsepower, so the whole frame had to be lightweight. That's why we decided to use aluminum tubes. Wheels are ready, now it's time to start bending the pipes. Okay, so what do we have here? So we have a shape of Paul Kevin, 
uh, drawing AutoCAD and now we bent tubes. You bent? I bent tubes. So this is Kevin's shape made of aluminum tubes? This is actually why we uh, took the go-kart and ourselves here to Philip because he's a pretty smart man with a pretty good knowledge and tools and brain even though it might not look like it. Yeah. And because we have this drawing, <laughs> uh, we could uh, I just make I just offended two you. of them. I just offended you. Why? I said your brain is not too good. No. If you would like to make Kevin into uh, the go-kart into Kevin in our place, it would be all done with zip ties and top screw and just, you know, some dodgy shit. And this is not dodgy, this is professional. Professional, not professional car. Look at this. You can almost see Kevin. And this is gonna be so funny. What do you think? It's actually a very nice window right now. Can you, can you see anything? This is perfect for the window actually. Yeah? Yeah, window and... So I, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the ABS sheet only like here, from your elbow down, and the rest, those uh, pipes, we can spray paint red. <laughs> we could do a roof as well. Man, this would be cool actually with the roof. But can you Go. see anything? <laughs> 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 wait, wait, I need, wait, stop, come here. Okay, look, if I need to, turn, now I'm looking right, if I need to turn left, all I need to do is... <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, so you go left to right. Okay, I need to look left. <laughs> <laughs> so, we have a front ready, but if you look at it from the side, uh, we think it's a bit too long for Kevin, but we have a shape already uh, bent from the pipe, so what Adam is gonna do... It's uh, shorten Kevin a bit. 20 centimeters. Oh, cool. No good. So, uh, we're gonna shorten Kevin so it finish more uh, just behind the wheel. Not that far. Okay, it's, uh, it's midnight, some of the guys went uh, to sleep already. Yeah, we're slowly progressing with the Kevin build. I think we're gonna just do a bit more today and then the rest will leave for tomorrow. Uh, I don't know, I kind of feel like I want this build to be in covered in one video. I don't want to cut the video today and then have another daily vlog tomorrow. Daily uploads? Yes, daily uploads, but it would be nice if the whole build is one video, right? Yeah, now we're cutting the ABS sheet slowly to make a front wall of Kevin. This one. In this one we need to cut out the hole now for the lights and for the grill. This is our front plate for Kevin. Um, we have uh, heated the edges and we kind of folded them, uh, angled them 90 degrees so they have more, uh, they are more stiff. And uh, now we are gonna cut the holes for the front lights, those. Using Milwaukee tools because Philip have only Milwaukee tools. Oh yeah. It's crazy. Okay, bang it down.
Okay, it's two o'clock. I'm going to sleep. The boys will stay here fighting for a bit longer and we'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, next day we had some sleep in the proper conditions. <laughs> How was it? It's E39 seats, right? Yeah, E39. Yeah. I see you have essentials. Okay. Uh, oh, there is some there is some progress. I see when I left yesterday, the boys seem to weld the these. And this whole thing starts to get into shape. But today we're gonna start with the coffee and and then we're gonna get back to the to the job. Yeah? Two people. Chodź, bo do ciebie już jest ten, jest ciepła. And uh, Philip's place is super cool because this is his uh, garage, right? And here is the stairs to his uh, flat, his house that is over the garage. You cannot see it from here. Oh, you can see it now. No. So he has this, this kind of little child dream house with the bottom being a whole garage and the top being flat. Nice. And also he has some cool cars here as well. There's one car here that you guys should know from our channel, from pre previous episodes. And I guess you don't expect it to be here, but it's here. Dun, da, da, dun. Wait, where's the mark? No, on the other side. This is Bozos Pharaon. This is uh, Bozos FBRX7 that Philip took here to um, sort of suspension and make it make it a car. Maracek, how was sleeping? My Drumbo people from the internet. How was sleep? Sleeping was good. Uh, Sam was touching me all night. I was sleeping here. Yes. And uh, well, I was sleeping here, and Sam was sleeping here <laughs> the whole night so it was nice pretty warm you know because i could feel some butt against my uh, body was warming up very uh, very friendly you know nice yeah mówiliśmy właśnie że ty masz taki dom z z marzeń każdego dziecka że masz garaż na dole i mieszkasz sobie na garażem co nie taksi był taki dom w taksi no brakuje ci tylko szklanej podłogi żebyś sobie patrzył na te wszystkie gruzy but imagine just cutting here a hole and make a glass uh, like a glass ceiling. I'm gonna start with the grill for Kevin. So this is the front of Kevin at the moment. And what I'm gonna do is have another, is cut another piece of ABS, uh, a rectangular like this one. So it imitates the grill uh, that Kevin has in between lamps. And the boys are welding the frame. They are adding a bit of uh, tubes here and there to make it more stiff. Aluminium, bo jakby nie mamy spawarki u nas to możliwości, a tutaj w sumie wiesz, to co się nauczymy, to zostanie. No tak. Andrzej trochę był wczoraj o żarty i się coś tam nauczył. Tylko wczoraj była pewniejsza ręka. We need more piwko. And then we are good to go. Okay, and I need to leave the boys for now because I have a mission to go to Radom, which is one hour away. And there is one thing I need to do in Radom. It's pretty much pick up the pick up the rear bumper for my Skyline. Suit, my friend, has uh, one bumper, so I'm just gonna drive there quickly, pick up the bumper, 
and be back here in two hours. Let's take this beauty and go. Okay, we made it and you guys should know by looking at this car. Oh. Ten sławny drifter z Radomia? Ja wiem. Siemka, cześć. To co, daily to jest twoje? No. Nice. Proper JDM. Ekranik, ekranik, ekranik jest wszystko, kurwa. Fajne. Ale fura! Kurde, jak ja oglądałem, jak ty go malowałeś, to już tyle czasu minęło. No rok czasu. Z rok temu, co nie? No, wszystko. I naprawdę, no bajeczka jest to. A to jest osiemnastka? Osiemnastka, no. To ile taki secik taki tylko teraz kosztuje? 15? Więcej? No, z takim nowym krowem to z 15 tak wyjdzie, no. 15-16 koło. Okay, I didn't film because it's raining badly. Uh, I have the stuff and now it's time to go back one hour back to the boys to see how they do with little Kevin. Okay, I'm back and it got dark already. Okay, so when I was away, the boys did some progress. Uh, we have a bash bars because we don't want to have a situation when when we crash the go-kart all the hard work that the boys doing with the aluminum frame would just bend it or break it so we have steel uh, bash bars on the front and from the back So at the moment we finished with the whole framing of the go-kart and we are proceeding to do the sides here. It's gonna be same ABS sheet as we did the front. Uh, for now we cut out the arches. Uh, the front arch needs to be cut out even more because obviously the, of the angle when you turn. The boys also were sorting out the exhaust. This is the header that's gonna go from, that's gonna go from the engine right there and here at the back is gonna be connected with with a proper exhaust just like in Kevin one big pipe so when you look from the side it's gonna have the same shape and where we finish with the side we're gonna do exactly the same on the other side and then just spray paint it with the red panda and uh, job done easy we came here 24 hours ago and this is what we have after, well, some work, some drinking and some sleeping. Also, this steering wheel is not really the best looking steering wheel. So, Philip got us this one. And this one's gonna fit perfectly for a drifting go-kart. So we're gonna just put it in. This one is for six bolts as every car steering wheel. This one go-kart here is for free, but Blaze here is gonna make some adapter, right? Zły, bo to iść do domu, a może jeszcze fuchy za flaszka. Wiesz? No. 
Um, okay, so uh, the idea was to change this steering wheel that was in the go-kart for a proper uh, car steering wheel, right? The problem that we had was that the steering wheel was mounted only on three bolts and a car steering wheel obviously is mounted on six, right? To replace this steering wheel with this steering wheel, we had to make kind of something like adapter which allow us to, to install the car steering wheel. So, we found this piece of aluminum that looked like this and with in half an hour a bit of alcohol, cigarettes and this guy and this machine he created something like this this is literally a new hub for the go-kart uh, it has threads it will allow us to install this steering wheel to the go-kart and this piece half an hour ago looked like this and this is exactly why we are here um, working on it. And all the job that's done on a go-kart is pretty, pretty good work. Proper Kevin style. You know what else is Kevin style? What? The loudness. The loudness. We, we turned it on off the camera. And it was so loud. It, it is loud. Like beautiful loud. Because it used to have a, like a muffler, but now there is like a straight pipe. Straight pipe exhaust. Straight pipe everything. Um, it's getting late and we need to go back home, so we're gonna uh, rush it here and I think we still will finish it tomorrow because we need to paint the sides and do a little bit of, of work still tomorrow. So this one day quick project job turned into three day, ten people project job, but the effect is gonna be all worth it. Oh, let's go to London. And uh, one last thing that we need to do here is do a quick burnout. So we have all the fancy equipment and all the expensive tools. Everything is in the garage uh, apart from the proper shovel. <laughs> why, did, why you don't have shovel? Because I don't need shovels. Because I Milwaukee don't do shovels. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there is no shovel from Milwaukee, so Milwaukee, if you hear this, do a shovel. I will buy it. A jak siedzisz, to bardzo wali po uszach? We spent an awesome time with Filip and we will be back here for sure. Thank you, buddy. A true friendship moment. Okay, we are back in our garage. It's two days later. And uh, now we have time and power to finish the little project with the go-kart for now. Let's get rid of the 86 from the garage. Yesterday we changed the brake pads so the car is drivable again. Um, let's just make some space, put the Kevin in the middle and start working. Okay, so we are back with the Kevin project and what we need to do is pretty much mark the tape, then paint the top of the sides uh, with red color. At the back, I want to install uh, like a number plate. Oh, one thing that for sure I think we should build is a ducktail here. Look at it. The, the wing. The wing, yeah, that's what I mean. Because look, if you look from here now, the way it's laying, yeah. I think it should be pretty easy to bend it. And it would look a bit like real. Yeah. Uh, the question is if we living if we want to install the roof as well or we do roofless. I think we should finish the whole body. And then we'll first see. paint everything, 
get everything done, and then we'll see you with the roof. Let's mark it and paint it. I'm here. Okay, and the next and probably the last thing on a little go-kart Kevin would be to install uh, lights because we want them lights to actually work. So what I'm gonna do is a little bracket for a little battery and then Andrew's gonna install the wiring and uh, make the lights work and this would be pretty much it then. Okay, and the last piece that we want to do is to make a roof because this still kind of looks like a go-kart not like a mini car if it doesn't have the roof um, to driving with the roof for me it's okay but for all the rest of the boys that are more than five foot seven they're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to sort out the hole in the roof so that kind of the top of their heads is gonna look above the roof i think it's gonna look funny and um, the whole car is gonna look more complete than now. So the plan is to have this ABS sheet that's left. And now what we're gonna do is try to uh, fold down the edge from this side and from this side so it would stay on top of the roof. And to do that, we're gonna have to uh, make it super hot, this one, warm it up and try to slowly bend it down to have a proper nice edge shape. Let's see if it works. Okay, the roof is on, but to be truly looking like Kevin, we're missing one more thing, which is the wing. And we're gonna cut out the wing from another sheet of ABS and try to bend it and put it on the roof. And now what's left is to paint the roof and a wing. And also, Andrew has been working on the front lights, which now work. Wow. Man, that's gonna be so funny. Okay, and uh, one last, every time we do something, I said one last thing. Uh, one last thing to do for the boys to be able to drive it is to cut out the hole in the roof to be able for them to see. So Marek, you maybe come in and then we'll... I can come in many places, but... No, but I mean coming... But coming to the go-kart. Oh. The roof is a bit useless in a way. Wait, don't look, look straight. Okay, wait. Can you fit inside without Yeah, me? I can easy. I can see it easily. You need just Nothing, a bit. You know what, in a way, what I would do better? What? 
for you to drive with the roof on and for us to drive without. It's only for nuts. Because mm. when the roof will be on, the car will yeah. look better with a full roof. No, but but then you cannot drive with the roof. Yeah. It needs to be with the roof. Look, it looks sick. No, just a little, just a little cutout for your head. But then I won't see anything properly. I will hit my head. Like any movement, I will bang my head on the, on the side. You can drive in a red helmet. So from the top you cannot see that it's, there is a hole. Oh. <laughs> I mean, for me it doesn't matter as long as it would look okay with the roof on. Because then it's, it's just a big hole and it's funny. It should be supposed to be funny. I don't know. I don't know. Should we, should we cut it or not? But it just looks so funny with the roof. Maybe let's do this. For this video, and for now, just leave the roof without cutting a hole. So it looks nice on the video. Yes. And then we'll actually use it and we'll see what would be how, the best. We'll see how long it takes to remove it or if we don't want to remove it. Yeah. Uh, maybe you guys can comment if we should cut it or not because... I would just cut out the hole there, so you see. It would look oh, even... I drive like this? Like, like this, you cannot even turn. I drive like an American lady. Can you turn on the lights? How? There is a switch between your legs. Between legs. Wow, that's so funny, man. Let's put the spoiler though now, because it's painted right there. And let's have a proper reveal. Okay, so one last idea is to make them... No, last one, yeah? Yeah, last idea. Last the last thing yeah, we need to do... Last one. last one, just a little thing and that's it, two days later. Listen, last thing to do, I think it's to paint those uh, aluminum pipes, the ones that on the top, um, the pillars, red. And that's the last thing we're gonna do. Last one. Yeah, last one, and then the big reveal. Actually, let's not film it. Just do big the big reveal. You show the whole car. No, but the big reveal of the car with the red ones. And driving. And driving. Okay. So we won't show you doing this, but you'll see the car in the big reveal. And this is it. <laughs> and now dubstep coming, drum and bass, Skrillex, Skrillex, the girls, and like. Woo, woo, woo. No, no girls, no girls. Boys, maybe. Boys. Yeah, yeah boys. We'll do tomorrow. We're filming reveal tomorrow. We should be fine. Okay, and this is the final version of Kevin. I hope you guys enjoyed it. There is one little thing that we didn't show on the video, like on purpose, to just showcase it uh, now at the end. You probably might wondering that it's very hard to get in to the go-kart and out to the go-kart with the, with the roof and everything. But we actually, Philip, he designed this nice solution. We're at the back here, all you need to do is just take out the thing. And the whole back now opens, so Marek is able to leave, look at that. See, that's what I call engineering. When you go down the hill, especially in these conditions where it's a bit wet, a bit uh, mainly dry, I was going full sand and then it's wet and I'm losing it and I'm like, oh, and <laughs> going, it's so much fun. It's cool, so no? Good. It was uh, pretty surreal to focus on such a little job. It's supposed to be just one day a uh, quick thing, you know, just to get your head clear from all the car work. But this turned out such a cool and crazy project that could also unite uh, many friends. All the friends that put work into this were really involved into it and like everyone tried to do their best to make it all look like this happen. And uh, 
I want to say thank you to Philip, to all the guys that help us build it. I hope you guys enjoy watching eight grown-up men building a little, little drifting cabin. <laughs>